hi you guys happy friday so this is a different type of video i'm going to be posting like random videos like this and it's based off like what people have asked me to talk about so if you don't want to hear about this then definitely feel free to click off but today is going to be about self-concept pretty much like this is something that i do myself and i'm just going to give you guys some examples like on how you can do it start it today if you need to do it but pretty much like self-concept is like what you believe about yourself it's like what do you believe about yourself like do you think that you are a bad person do you think that um you're not successful if you believe that do you may want to change it use um, self-concept affirmations i'm going to share with you guys like a couple of examples but um I like to write mine down. I had kind of fell off on doing it, but then I got back to doing it recently. And I can definitely tell a difference. Like it makes a world of difference pretty much. Cause sometimes when we are, it's like you can be bored or it's like maybe you're not really feeling yourself. Those negative thoughts and negative beliefs start, you know, popping up in your head. You start believing it too. And that's not cool. You have to like really reprogram what you think about yourself pretty much because it's like if you like pretty much the self-concept affirmations is like you hyping yourself up it's because like why would you wait for somebody else to hype you up you're gonna be waiting a long time if you wait for somebody else to hype you up so i like to do the self-concept affirmations i like to write mine down i'll write down like about 10 i ain't gonna share which ones i'll be saying y'all but just know i be hyping myself up <laughs> But um, I like to start off with saying like, I am, I have. You always want to put it like in a present tense, like as if you are that right now. Like, let's just say you are in school, right? But you want to be a realtor and you have like these um, fears surrounding possibly you not becoming a realtor. Start saying right now. I am the best realtor in my city or state or how, you know, wherever you want to go. Like, you're the best. And nobody else can tell you different. So, I like to put, like, down... I like to write down, like, about 10. But when I do write it down, like, sometimes they'll change. Like, I may come up with one today or whatever and write it down. But I'll go through the list. You can do it morning, noon, night. You can do it as many times as you need to, pretty much. It just depends on your preference. But um, I like to say each one like about three or four times. So you're saying it out loud, right? So it's like when you do that consistently, like pretty much it's like you're, you're um, reprogramming your mindset or like your, um, your mind. It depends on like how, like how... Because, you know, you can be feeling like really, really low. It just depends on your situation. Like you, if you really, really need some type of like uplifting or it's like you really need to like change your mindset. If you are feeling kind of low, I would do it like three times a day. Say each one. You could start off with like five, like write them down. Um, sometimes, and I, I actually have like an idea that I was going to do so where, because I feel like for some people, it's like you don't have what you want right now because you ain't wrote it down pretty much it's like you ain't really even said that you want this thing it's like you saying no i can't have it but that's like you need to change your mindset pretty much but i'm going to give you guys some examples but yeah i just write mine down in this notebook or whatever and say each one three times i do it like once a day but that's just me um but you can say that um and you can look at these on pinterest too y'all they got some really good ones on pinterest I don't want to share mine because they're like really personal, but um, if you're not feeling as confident, you can say, I am confident. I am the most confident person that anybody has ever met. So it's pretty much, it's like you take your negative beliefs about yourself and it could be anything. Like you could be thinking like your head too big. It's like, why would I be saying like, oh, my head big, it's too big. Nobody likes me. No, I have the perfect size head and people actually think my head size is cute. Like... It's like, why would you keep repeating like the negative things <laughs> about yourself pretty much? So it could be anything. You take your negative um, thoughts or beliefs about yourself and it could be something so little, but change it into something positive and you just repeat it over and over and you'll start believing it. And 
trust me, do this for like a whole week, y'all. And you, somebody will actually tell you, and I promise you, like, come back to this video. Like, let's just say, um, yeah, like you don't like your head size or whatever. I don't know. You may think that you got a funny size head or something or a funny shaped head. Start saying like, no, my head size is really cute. It's a perfect size and everybody always compliments me on it. I bet you a hundred dollars, okay, that somebody, if you say this consistently, like I have the perfect size head or whatever the case is, change it into something positive and do it like consistently for a whole week. Somebody will actually approach you or say something about it. Like I promise you, because I was um, saying like one affirmation, like it's like a self-concept affirmation. I was saying it like over and over and somebody had actually said, and I was like, oh yeah, the self-concept affirmation is working. Um, I'm gonna give you guys another one, but you can say like, I love myself so much if you don't really, you know, um, it's like, maybe you don't really have that true love, like for yourself and pretty much y'all, all of this comes from like the people that you surround yourself with. Cause I'm gonna tell you, I had to work on my self-concept too, um, for like quite some time. But what it, it like what really really helped me and I'm not even like playing around with y'all and some people may not you know take my advice or whatever but you got to stop hanging around people who make you feel unsure about yourself that's really all it is cuz I noticed that once I stopped hanging around certain people it's like this could be like a friend it could be anybody but it's like they could they could make you feel like kind of low it's like every, like you know how people always got something to say about what you doing it could be like what you wearing whatever the case is yeah remove yourself around those people because like really what it is is like they could be projecting you know their fears and insecurities onto you so it's like it may bounce back on you and you like you know you may feel kind of low it's like maybe you feel like you're not um good enough or whatever the case is yeah if you completely remove yourself around those type of energies y'all it's like spend some time by yourself that's like when my self-confidence like really heightened like seriously and i know a, like a couple of people um asked me like how am i so confident y'all i don't feel like i'm that confident but like i had to work on myself pretty much i took the time out to work on myself and um you know gain my confidence back especially if you are a woman and maybe you was like in a relationship for a long time it's like maybe you didn't feel like um, it's like, maybe you didn't feel that attractive or whatever the case is. I don't know. Yeah. Um, remove yourself from around that person, like cut off all contact. Cause some people make you feel like you're not good enough or you may feel like you got to change something about yourself. It's like, no, you're actually perfect the way that you are. You just have to believe it. Um, but yeah, that's like the key thing to growing, like what's well, to gaining your, um, your self-confidence or like your self-esteem too because usually it'd be people that you have around you that make you feel like you're nothing pretty much and really you're like everything but it's like you may not believe it so yeah do it consistently i'm gonna try to give y'all another one though but um you could actually use these for like manifesting too I had wrote down, well, now I ain't going to tell y'all what I wrote down, but you can say, like, let's just say you're not making a certain amount of money right now that you want to. Like, let's just say you got a small business or you want some extra income. You can say, like, um, I love receiving or I love making a thousand dollars every day. Like, you can say that. Say it three times, three, four, five times, how many times um, as you want. You can say, um... If you don't feel like as lucky, it's like maybe you feel like bad things always happening to you. <laughs> At one point, I was feeling like that too, y'all. It's like sometimes we do feel like that. It's like natural to feel that way. But um, you can say like, I am extremely lucky. You can say I am worthy as well. Um, but try to use the words like I am, I have. Or um, just put it in a present tense as if like it's like it's happening right now, not like it's going to happen a year from now. It's like, no, I mean, it could happen a year from now, but it's like you want to say it right now. So let me see if I can give y'all another one. You can actually write these down, um, print them out to like put it on your mirror as well. You could put I like to put like affirmation. Well, I don't really do it that often because um 
I don't want to keep mine like private or whatever. Like I just don't want everybody knowing my self concept <laughs> affirmations. <laughs> but you can write it down, put it into your phone, print it out, or however you want to do it. Sometimes I like to write it over and over. They just tells me or whatever. But um, you have to do it consistently. And if you do feel yourself like you know kind of falling off, get back to it, and I promise you, like you will feel. 10 times better. And I want to use this as an example too, because um, I think it was Rihanna, but like she was on a red carpet and she's like, somebody had asked, asked her, like, what do you do on the days that you don't feel as confident? And she was like, um, like pretty much like fake it. And that's true. Cause sometimes you may not feel as confident that day, but you got to fake it. It's like, you have to um, reprogram yourself to make you feel like, you know, you are confident. Um, so what else? Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. You can also to like reword it as well. Cause like you just have to do it based off your beliefs about yourself. Cause everybody thinks, you know, differently about their self. But remember that we are our own worst critics too, y'all. It's like, we can really put ourselves down. We can put, um, other people down too, that's why you got to really watch, you know, the words that you speak to other people. Cause it's like, you just never know where the person's at mentally. It's like by you saying that one thing to them could be like it for them. It's like, you know, you just never know where they're at mentally. That's why I try to watch what I be saying to like, you know, um, to other people or like when I do reads or whatever, cause you just never know. And it's like, I've been there before too. Like, um, like I was saying, you have to surround yourself with people who believe in you. It's like they're not putting you down. It's like they're not making you feel low or less than, unworthy. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much what um, I wanted to talk about with self-concept. Let me know in the comment section if you need help with, you know, the self-concept affirmations. And I can definitely make some for you. You can email me or um, leave a comment or whatever about what it is that you could be needing help with so yeah that is pretty much the um end of the video i hope that you guys found well i hope some of you guys found this helpful as well and i'll see y'all in another video